Hi everyone, just want to talk today about Bedbug Heat Treatment Company and if it's actually a viable option to start one and how to start it. One of the things that I ran into is that uh, I know a lot of people decide to start this kind of business, but they go all out. They go and they buy the $120,000 temp air machine or they go and buy the brand new diesel truck to pull, a trailer that's got 50K in equipment in the back of it. Uh, just to do two or three jobs a week and they end up paying that back for like the next three four years so uh, I wanted to hit on a few key notes of things I did to pay off all of my equipment uh, and vehicle everything in, in the full one year period uh, that was sustainable and didn't break the bank or put us at too much risk so here we go first off I started by buying a green tech 1 million BTU heater uh, this is, they sell it as a package from Green Tech themselves. Uh, this essentially will let you do up to a 3,000 square foot home without having to have a million other pieces of equipment uh, set up. Um, pretty basic to operate. I run it off three 25 gallon uh, propane tanks, uh, which typically can last me three or four jobs, depending on the size. And I can do as small as, I've done as small as a 66 square foot studio, an SOR in SF. Um, and I've done as large as uh, like an 8,000 square foot office building with uh, with two of these machines. So uh, it's one of those things that it saved me a bunch of money. They ran about, I think I spent about 10,000 for the package. They came with everything you need, propane hoses, multiple fans, uh, temperature sensors, all that fun stuff. So uh, that was one thing I did was I bought that piece of equipment first before I spent any money on anything else. Then I bought, or I should say first I bought, was the van. So this is a 2014 Ram Promaster. Uh, I bought it used, about 100,000 miles on it, cost uh, 14,500. Uh, so with that and the Green Tech, I'm into it right about 25,000 um, bucks. The only other items I really had to buy beyond uh, the truck and the, the Green Tech itself was I ended up buying um, a B&G sprayer, so a few hundred bucks on that and uh, miscellaneous items like ducting and more fans to use to move around the heat from the uh, green tech. So all in all, my startup costs for just this one van and that one piece of machinery was about 30,000 uh, because you did have li licensing to deal with. I had a rental license. I couldn't go out and get my own license without having two years experience in California. So that was one variable. Um, also too, I have a business partner who went in this with me. So I'm just 50 for the owner with the company and we both were able to find the money make it work and uh, get us off the ground so uh, that's how we started out after we did that initial bit of purchasing we did decide to purchase a second one of the green techs uh, as well as a sleep tight I can't think of who manufactures sleep tight but we bought one of the sleep tights as well as some convect techs 24-hour uh, heaters we call them uh, to give us the ability to heat places longer that had heavy infestations and whatnot so all in all starting up uh, the business with having now we have two vans two green techs a sleep tight the convectex uh, three convectex heaters uh, two versa pros uh, one elite four um, we've got a lot of ducting a lot of fans I think we have like close to 40 fans um, Everything, everything, everything paid off. We were into it about 80,000 bucks. And after our first year, which was from March, March 17th, I think we became licensed and our first job wasn't until like April 8th of 19, uh, which was hard to get our first job because we had a crappy website. We had no marketer. We were pretty much trying to just do whatever we could to get a job. So from there until uh, about the same time, April of 2020, we had paid off all of our debts. We own both vehicles outright. We own all the equipment outright. Everything, everything, everything is we're debt free. No credit cards, nothing anymore. So um, yeah, after that now we're in a point where we can put money to the side and if we decide to upgrade equipment, if we wanted to go away from propane, which um, can, be, can be risky if you have employees who don't know what they're doing or not trained properly, you can definitely overheat a house damaged furniture, which I myself have done through uh, just learning. Um, but I'd like to overall get something electric. The temp air system is pretty nice. It's just a lot of money to invest for something if you're not, you're just not 100% sure on if you're gonna go into it full bore. Um, the machines could be anywhere from like 80,000 to 120 unless you can find a used unit. Plus you need a, a truck to pull it, um, preferably 
you know, either some sort of an F-250 or a Chevy 2500 or even a diesel will be best just so you don't have too much load depending where you live, of course, too, if you have flat land or hills. So, yeah, uh, that's that's kind of the basis of, of the company and how we got started with everything and what we did to get started um, and cost amounts. So let me know if you have any questions. If you decide that uh, you want to start up your own bed bug heat treatment company, um, just leave me a comment and I'll gladly answer any questions that I can. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.